Very good evening my friends, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I'm really very happy and very proud of our signals this week so far that we have sent on the premium group signals and as we can see yesterday, Monday, we had all these signals with only one minimized loss of 35 pips loss only against 20 pips of profit and again later pound USD have made 120 pips of profit pound CHF 30 pips of profit and uh, cat GPY 20 pips of profit and today Tuesday we have actually made really good day with only one loss of 30 pips and the rest of the signals have reached the take profit level number one making a total of um, we have we actu actually the pound in city has has made the recovering of the loss from the pound USD therefore the net profit for today so far is 40 pips I mean that's really great other signals providers usually they let the signal to hit the stop loss but what we are doing here is do we are doing our best to control your fund and to actually save it and give you the maximum profit possible and as we can see thankfully we have received really nice messages from the members who have actually entertained these uh, profits and these nice signals look at that I made almost thousand dollars yesterday using 0.25 lots using the signals I mean amazing and this gentleman here have also made a good profit this guy here he have made all these profits in just 10 minutes it's unbelievable wow amazing weekly analysis and start of the week signals thank you and thanks to Sir Salah so I'm really very happy and very pleased to see these nice feedbacks from our uh, clients and members in the premium group so the week is still going on and we are expecting more profits so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please you can uh, contact angela or you can actually visit our website www.extreme-trader.com uh, please contact us today and hopefully we will see you there so let's start right now the weekly analysis and let's look at the euro usd as you can see my signal for the euro usd was really just perfectly fine and the pair did not even go inside the, the safe zone it has reversed exactly at the given entry for the sell and the pair went straight day one to the take profit level making 128 pips of profit i really hope you guys have enjoyed these profits so now what's next from the euro usd by looking now at the daily candles or the daily chart what we can see right here is that the, let me delete the previous signals all right now this is more clean right now so looking at the euro usd what we can see is that the pair has actually made the bearish breakout candle from that supported trend line as we can see and we can see here that the pattern here is indicating for a bearish reversal that's a triple top pattern indicating for a bearish reversal so i believe euro usd is actually gonna continue the fall eventually until it uh, visit again that broken resistance on 1.14125 therefore what we can do next is uh, what's happening right now is that the euro usd is actually reversing from that support level as we can see uh, eventually the euro usd is gonna make the break out from that support but that might take some time so we need to look for the best level to start shorting the euro usd again let's now move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame what we can see right here is like that exactly like that we can see that we had here the previous support level that support has been eventually made the break uh, been breaking out from and what we can see here if we look carefully at the candles this is the candle that has actually made the breakout from that support level and as we can see right here we had that resistance number one on the same level of the support therefore our best chances wait for the euro usd to visit that resistance again retest the broken support level and then we can start short the pair again aiming that lowest uh, support level in the past that being said i think we meet we might need to do some adjustments here hold on i think i made a mistake i think i made a mistake hold on guys i just want to be sure the analysis is correct um I definitely have made a mistake because actually this is the breakout candle not this one okay let's uh, change the signal it's gonna be right here 
is gonna be right here at that previous support level when that support level is gonna be a new resistance and then we can start again shorting the pair aiming that lowest level of the support as I said before so we are just like 15 pips away from reaching our entry point I don't know if it's gonna be uh, valid after I send I post this video therefore let's just hurry up uh, your USD is good for the short on 1.17325 what oh shit sorry okay uh, sell on 1.17325 and for the safe zone the safe zone is gonna be ranging inside that previous uh, resistance level and I believe that's gonna be about 60 or 56 pips which is fair enough <coughs> I really don't think the pair is gonna be able even to reach that level because as I said before let me just explain it as I said before we had right here a previous support trend line which has been breaking out uh, be breaking out from and we can expect from the pair because this is this is now daily candle so right now it is uh, Dubai time it is actually 9 35 p.m. so almost after 3 hours and 24 minutes this candle is gonna close so the next candle is actually gonna rise a little bit more retesting that broken support level uh, support trend line and then the pair is gonna definitely continue the fall I don't really think it's gonna reach the edge of the safe zone therefore this is our signal for the euro USD and let's just set the take profit level as I said to be at that lowest support level let's look at the daily candle I think that's enough like that perfect so we can be looking for almost 225 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all so let's just set the take profit level is gonna be on 1.14969 again hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and everyone will entertain some good profits out of it now let's look at the pound USD Pound USD as well has reached the take profit level. We can see that the Pound USD has went just uh, for almost 23 pips against my entry. And then again, it went down right on the take profit level all the way to the take profit level, uh, making 160 f uh, 60 pips, 160 pips of profit. And hopefully everyone have actually took this signal. So now what's next? Let me first delete the other signal so it will not confuse us. All right, let's now look at the daily candles. Now, what we can see right here is that the euro USD, uh, sorry, the pound USD is actually facing a previous resistance level, which was also previously a support in the past. However, uh, the bearish momentum is stronger for the pound USD. And what we can expect next is that the pair is actually gonna reverse on that previous support level. However, it's gonna just make a bounce or correction and as we can see we had right here a, piv a previous resistance and the pair is gonna actually go a little bit more up retesting that broken support and resistance as well and then gonna continue the fall so that being said uh, euro sorry I keep saying euro hold on I need to look carefully at the pound USD because it just just reversed right here from that support level hmm how many pips is that 29 we need to be careful and wise about this signal I really think it's gonna go higher than that I think it's gonna go higher than that it's gonna go to the top level of that previous resistance level this one right here and then after that it's gonna continue the fall because we already have here a previous resistance number one I believe the pair is gonna continue to rise and hit resistance number two and then it's gonna continue the fall yeah that's much better that's actually the right way so you the pound USD is good for the short on 1.28042 and for the safe zone it's gonna be ranging until the top of that resistance so we're, to, we're talking about almost 60 pips again I really doubt that the pair is even gonna reach the edge of the safe zone I think it's uh, good really good for the short this week and our tech profit level is gonna be right here on that next support level or the nearest support level to my entry therefore we are looking for almost 160 pips of profit hopefully we will make them so tech profit level is 1.26430 
that's the signal for this week for the pound USD. Hopefully, it's also going to be a good one. Let's now look at the AUD USD. Also, AUD USD has also activ been activated exactly at the entry level, which I have given on the weekly analysis video, and it went all the way to the tech profit level, making a total of 88 pips of profit. I really hope you guys have taken these signals. Now, what's next? Uh, AUD USD might be a little bit complicated because the pair is right now facing a strong key level. Oh, sorry, key, uh, support level. That's a very strong support level, as we can see. It has been, uh, it has already made so many attempts in the past as a support, and therefore we can expect that the pair might not be able to make the break out right away from that level. So, what's the next move to do here? Let me just tell you something. Um, if we draw a Fibonacci retracement, as you can see, the pair has actually made the fall below Fibonacci 61.8. Therefore, what we can expect right now, after reversing on that previous support level, the pair is actually might go a little bit more up, retesting the broken support level on Fibonacci 61.8, and then it's going to continue the fall. We might expect for the pair to go a little bit more up to hit that resistance number one, and then it might reverse. That's our plan B. So our main entry is going to be right here on FIBO 61.8 and our plan B to fix the trade is going to be right here on that other resistance. And I don't think it's many pips actually. I think it's just it's just like 29 pips. So that's really more than f uh, that's fair enough. So that being said, we can start actually shorting the pound, sorry, the AUD USD again right here on that as i said fibonacci 61.8 and the edge uh, the, the edge of the safe zone is gonna be right there at that previous support level making it almost 52 pips of a uh, safe zone 52 uh, sorry 54 55 like that okay so we can start shorting the AUD UST on 0 0.71971 and for the take profit level, it's going to be, of course, at the lowest level of the support right here, because as I said, in general, the pair is going in the bearish momentum. Therefore, the take profit level is going to be 0 0 0.70750. Again, hopefully, it's going to be a good signal. USD GAD has also been triggered, and it has been triggered exactly from the buy level I have given, and also it went all the way to the take profit level, making it 145 pips of profit. Fantastic day, really. All the results, all the signals are going perfectly fine. I really wish all of the days and all of the analysis will be the same. Okay, so what's next now for the USD CAD? Well, USD CAD is going to continue the rise. However, it's a matter of where we can start again buying the pair. Definitely, that's going to be the best level to start buying the pair because we're having right here a previous resistance which has been breaking out from. And we had here also that previous support level. Be sure that that support cannot be ignored and it's going to be again another support right here. So therefore, after that support keeping its position as a support, we can actually start buying the pair. Currently, the USD CAD is reversing from that resistance level on 1.33360 so i think by the end of the day, the day the reversal is gonna be completed or the pattern is gonna complete its form and therefore we can start again buying the usd cad once it reach our entries that being said usd cad is good for the buy on 1.32730 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging until the next level of that previous resistance level uh, let's be more realistic and exactly like that. Yes, perfect. So we're talking about 52 pips of a safe zone, which is fair enough. So that, that's the uh, level to buy the signal, the pair. And as I said, the pair is going to continue to rise at least to hit that previous resistance line right here on 1.39332. Uh, so this is actually our take profit level. So we are talking about almost 120 pips of profit so take profit level 1.33932 uh, again hopefully it's gonna be another good signal USDCHF has also been triggered from the same level I have given for the buy and again USDCHF has went all the way 
to the tech profit level making exactly uh, almost 100 pips of profit fantastic really guys i really hope everyone have taken these signals because they were actually amazing all of them have went directly in the profit so let's see now what's next with the usd chf now the usd chf is really so easy to analyze because as we can see right here we had that previous support le uh, resistance level and right here and as we can see i have given you the signal to start buying the usd chf right from this level for one reason is actually as i told you before many many times uh, when you see a bullish breakout candle from a resistance you need to start buying the pair again at the same level of the top of the nearest wick or tail to the uh, breakout candle so by looking at that pre previous resistance right here that wick right here is the nearest one to the bullish breakout candle and therefore this is exactly where we want to start longing the pair again so usd chf is good for the buy on the level 0 0.91748 and of course we can keep the trade running in the safe zone until that previous support level i think we can make it even lower than that exactly like this so the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 50 pips which is fair enough and there goes the shape of the safe zone and the target of course is going to be let me just uh, we are not placing these targets randomly by the way there is a science behind it uh let's go to the daily candle it's definitely going to be if it made the breakout from that resistance it's going to continue the rise all the way to retest that broken support level right here on this level so the take profit level is going to be on uh, 0 0.91748 so we are looking for almost 185 pips of profit hopefully also we are going to make them all let's talk about the usdgpy usdgpy signal hasn't been triggered however the pair right now is reversing exactly at that support level i have mentioned last week so therefore it's obviously by seeing the price action on the daily candles and the reversing from that support level it seems like the usdgpy is a good for a bullish reversal so it's a matter of where we can start actually buying the pair let's look at the usdgpy again now we switch to the four hour time frame so we can see clearly the support and resistance on the four hour time frame and as we can see right here we are having that previous support level which was also in the past a resistance and that is the bullish breakout candle from the resistance and notice also that in the past that's the very same support level has kept its position also as a support that being said this support and this support they are both gonna keep their position also as a support so therefore this is gonna be the level where we can start again buying the usdgpy and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit the top of that resistance so usdgpy actually how many pips is that it's gonna continue fall for almost 15 pips all right usdgpy is good for the buy on 104.804 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging of course until that lowest level of that previous support level so we are talking about let me just reduce it like that that's more safe for almost 55 pips uh, which i believe is fair enough as a safe zone and our take profit level is gonna be the top of that resistance level right there so hopefully we are aiming about 142 pips profit from the usd gpy tech profit level is 106.250 hopefully also it's gonna be a good signal for everyone now let's check the gold now for the gold let's go for the four hour time frame if you remember my friends i have said many times that the gold is trapped in this channel and i told you in the video to mark my words remember what i'm saying to you once the gold is gonna make the break out from that channel the breakout is gonna be massive because it is what, what we called a price explosion the price has been trapped for in this channel for a quite long time and finally finally it has made the bearish breakout candle or sorry the, the explosion from that channel and it went all the way uh, down so it went in total of 
700 pips uh, in a bearish momentum actually i want to tell you something here and this is for this is actually educative the the price explosion actually happening all the time without you even noticing it let's look at that look at that the price was actually the the candles were actually trapped in this small channel right right here and finally we had the price explosion we can see it also right here the 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 the, the pair was actually trapped in this uh, channel like that so we can see this channel the price was trapped in this channel and finally we had the explosion happened and the pair went down we can see it all actually we can see it everywhere every time you can see that the pair is trapped or sorry the candles are trapped in that channel there will be always and the explosion we can see it right here also like that and like that so the candles were actually trapped in this uh, channel and then eventually there was the bullish uh, breakout uh, representing another bullish uh, price explosion so if you look at the candles if you read them you will see this explosion happening almost all of the time that is what happens actually when the price or the candles or the market is trapped in this channel and just want to get out of it and uh, the investors actually gonna take their time and invest uh, with the breakout anyway what's gonna happen next with the gold um actually the gold needs a lot of analysis so just i'm just gonna pause the video for a minute just to do some my own analysis and i'll be back to you all right so let's now look at the gold and i have drawn the fibonacci retracement from the lowest level in july and of course the highest level in august however Currently what we can see right here is that the gold is ranging on the Fibonacci 38.2 and as we can see it is retesting that broken support level on that level as well. So that support level has been retested and the gold seems like it's going to the bearish and I think the gold is going to continue the fall after retesting that broken support level. So let's now look at the one hour time frame and what we can see right here is we already had a resistance number one and right here we had the resistance number two actually that was our best chance to start shorting the gold again however notice that the gold is now reversing from that support level so it's now being again gonna be it trapped in another channel so what we can do right now look at that the, the gold is gonna be see, it seems like it's gonna be trapped in another channel so we need to wait for the best moment to start shorting the gold again so what we will do is simply use another Fibonacci retracement right here and mark 61.8 I believe that's gonna be the best level to start again shorting the gold so uh, we are going to sell the gold on 1909.31 and this time the take profit level is going to be the next Fibonacci retracement on Fibonacci 50 like that so we are talking about uh, 337 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all 1872.67 is our take profit level now let's discuss the safe zone now let's go back to the Fibonacci retracement and look at that we are having right here the Fibonacci retracement 38.2 let me delete this one here so 38.2 is gonna be actually the edge of our safe zone and unfortunately i think it's gonna be yeah it's just 92 pips so that is exactly where i'm going to use the, uh, the 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 safe zone for our short for the gold so it's gonna be like this that's our signal for the gold this week again i really hope it's gonna be good signals uh please i want to remind everyone not every week is gonna be good like this one not every analysis i'm doing is gonna be very good and profitable like this one i have made recently uh the market is uh, predictable of course however it is very subjective to the economic news there might be some economic news which is unexpected it might change the whole direction of these in of these analysis actually let's let's uh, check something together hold on please one second 
So here's uh, here's the upcoming news or, or uh, the upcoming economic news uh, on forexfactory.com. As you can see, tomorrow 6 a.m. Dubai time, 2 a.m. GMT time tomorrow, which is after just after just a few hours, we're gonna have the uh, official cash rate and the state uh, rate statement uh, from the uh, NZD or the New Zealand banks. So this actually might change the whole analysis. So you need to be uh, careful and. I mean, not the whole analysis, sorry. It's going to be affect only the NZT pairs. Um, I'm just looking at the pair. Uh, here also, Mr. Uh, Jerome Powell is going to testify tomorrow. 6 uh, p.m. D uh, Dubai time, 2 p.m. GMT time. And this actually might change or might uh, affect the price of, of the gold. So you need to pay attention to this uh, testify because it might actually change the whole analysis I have given. And then Thursday... We're gonna have a uh, Treasury second uh, Munich speech and uh, what else? Um, again, Mr. Powell is gonna testify again. So we have, we have to pay attention to what this guy says. It's very important, my friends. Please pay attention to these statements. They are very uh, critical for the for the forex market. Friday is gonna be a good day, and the market seems like it's gonna be calm. So again. Uh, these are the analysis that I have given for you on this mid midweek analysis. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be very good again. So, in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.